so I think pretty much <coughs> all my hair is covered at this point. Goodness. Sorry. So now what I do is I just kind of pile it all on top of each other and like look for like these little open sections and just kind of get in there with it. Because like I notice sometimes like I'll be out and I can see the color and then I see like sections like where I may have really concentrated and got it on real good and then like next to it like you won't really see too much of anything. I don't know. What do you guys <clears throat> think about henna? For the most part, I think a lot of people like it. But like I said, as far as the breakage issues I was having before, you know, I feel like henna really has helped me out with that. Now, I wish that there was some place I could maybe buy it locally. Um, because I just ordered mine from... Amazon because my local India market that I go to don't carry this specific brand and since this has been working for me I just kind of want to stay with it because I haven't had any adverse issues you know the products always the same when I get it it's a fair price so I say if you're wanting to try Hannah but you can't find it in your area, go on Amazon, type in Jamila Henna. And there's like a lot of companies that'll do like, you know, you buy five boxes and you get one for free type things. So now I'm at the point to where the henna's I am pretty much all in. It's like, you know, just scraps left. So I just kinda scrape the bowl and I just pack it on just because I'm not going to save that little bit and um, I don't really get into the whole saving thing issue of henna I, don't, I never have enough to save so to me it's quite pointless and I just try to make sure I got it all around turn around probably all down my back and all over the place but that's why you put on your raggedy shirt when you know it's time for henna okay and then I am um, have my henna cling wrap that this is all this is used for up a couple of times. time for the top area oh my goodness plastic cup 
and then we put on this little rag. And even though I feel like a cone head, I know now that, you know, my head is protected. When I lay down, I'll put my bonnet on um, and be able to sleep comfortably. I'll go and, like, wipe my ears off and wipe around any edges that may be exposed. And I'm all set. So I'll come back when, um, after I've rinsed out the henna, so in a couple of hours, and let you guys see the progress from there. And then we'll figure out what hairstyle we should be doing. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.